So, Lewis to Ferrari to be teammates with Leclerc. Who would have seen that coming? Not me. Anyhow, welcome to today's adventure. I've got a small box of 2022 Formula One cards. And for those who don't know, I'm a huge racing fan. The kind to be up at 3 a.m. to watch the Japanese Grand Prix. Though, sometimes staying up isn't exactly easy. Regardless, we're right on the heels of the new season, with teams set to unveil their 2024 contenders, like, next week, basically. I'm super excited, and I hope this year someone can give Red Bull a run for their money. Now, as usual, anything pulled in this box is eligible for the Wall of Fame. So, we'll see what we can get. We'll start off by getting our handy-dandy Zach's Jerry Rig Everything knife. Shout out Zach. And get right on in. Always be careful when using knives. So we'll open it up and see what we get. Now I think we can see that the box scratches at a level 2 with deeper grooves at a level 3. Now I have no idea what to expect in here because I've never opened one of these before. But we've got quite a few packs. We'll set the box off to the side. And what are there? Four, eight, ten packs, it seems like, with six cards each. Now, just in case, I do have a lot of card sleeves, in case we get something good, but I don't really know what is good in here. Now, for quick reference, I'm a McLaren fan. They're my favorite team. It used to be Lotus, and Kimi used to be my favorite driver, but Kimi is gone, and so is Lotus. I also know that the corners on these cards are pointed, so I'm trying to be a little careful opening them and not damage these corners. But first up, we've got a Lewis Hamilton Grand Prix winner from Brazil. That's a pretty nice looking card, pretty sharp. Hope he gets a couple wins at Ferrari. Marino Sato from Formula 2. I haven't heard anything of him at all anymore. Oh, we've got a nice clean air blue skies Charles Leclerc. That does look really good. I have no idea if this card is worth anything. Behind it, we've got a Christian Horner. Uh, but just checking out the back, it's got a pretty cool description on Charles Leclerc. He's a keen scuba diver, apparently. I didn't know. We'll set that one aside, and behind Christian Horner, we've got Zhou Guan Yu, Formula One freshest. Rookie card, actually. And then another rookie card of Zhou Guan Yu. Double Zhou rookie cards. Maybe he'll step it up, and these will be worth something. Pretty neat for the first pack. We'll get into the second pack. Now, again, trying to be a little careful. I know historically I'm terrible at opening cards, but I've been trying to get better, especially in the realm of Pokemon cards. But these ones specifically, I'm trying to be really careful with the corners. To start off, we've got Driver of the Day. Styria 2021 Charles Leclerc, followed by Ralph Beauchung, Formula 2, haven't heard much of him anymore lately. Another Lewis Hamilton driver of the day, Brazil 2021. Brazil is Lewis's bread and butter. And now we've got a really nice looking Ralph Beauchung card. Now it's a shame we haven't heard much of him anymore. Another Grand Prix winner, Lewis Hamilton. You know... I never thought I'd say it, but I hope he gets back to winning. Somebody's got to challenge Max, right? And we've got a nice Daniel Ricardo. Hope he gets back to finding some success. And a Felipe Drugovich. Drugovich, he's still there. So, good for him. And I hope he keeps it up. We'll get on to our third pack here. Let me know in the comments, who are some of your favorite drivers or teams? You know, what are your predictions for this next season? Again, though, I hope it is good. We've got a nice Valtteri Botas card. Botas. Uh, not that he's bad, just, you know, his butt. Ass. We've got Max Verstappen, race winner, France. Lance Stroll. This is one of my favorite drivers, and I know everybody hates him, but I love him. I love Aston Martin, too. We've got a flash of brilliance, Lewis Hamilton. Followed by Carlos Sainz, the man looking for a new job after this season. And then, Jahan Daruvala. I don't think I've heard much of him in Formula 2, but I know he used to be pretty good. Pretty good indeed. 
Now, based on these, I'm actually going to go back and single out these Zhou Guan Yu Ricky cards and sleeve them up. I think they're the best we've pulled. I know I've got that one, uh, like, holographic card, but uh, that driver is not really doing much. I don't even remember his name. Never, never heard of him before opening the card, and I'll probably never hear of him after. That's a neat way to open this. Okay, okay. We're learning. Next up, as we put this aside, we've got J Jake Hughes. I almost said Jack Hughes, not to be confused with Quinn Hughes. Uh, then we've got Pierre Gasly, another sideways card. Good stuff. Followed by F1 Racer, McLaren F1 Team. That's a nice one. It's got like a little beige tint to it. I like that. It's got a nice little kind of classic historic look to it. That's really nice. And we've got a Charles Leclerc, Mr. Big Contract. Then Valtteri Bottas and Fernando Alonso, my current favorite driver. The 2014 Ferrari team was like a dream come true for me with Kimi and Alonso. The only issue with that dream was the nightmare of a car that they were forced to drive. I really wish Ferrari's philosophy was a bit better than with that car, but at least they're a little bit better now. I've never been a big Ferrari fan. We've got Callan Williams, but you've got to respect Ferrari, right? We've got another Daniel Ricciardo. Again, I hope he returns to form. He showed some brilliance last year. A nice holographic Carlos Sainz. We'll put that in a sleeve, so we'll set that aside. A nice green parallel of Sebastian Vettel. Gotta respect the champion, right? Ooh, it's numbered number 72 out of 199. All right, we'll put that aside in a sleeve, and we've got another Sebastian Vettel here. No number on this one, except the card identifying number. And we've got Mr. Champion himself, Max Verstappen, and Otmar Safnauer. Both of these, pretty solid cards. Now, no disrespect to Max, he is one of the greatest to ever drive a Formula One car, but I sincerely hope, in the sake of entertainment, he wins a couple fewer races this next season. Again, nothing against Max. I love the guy. But I love to be entertained even more. We'll put these aside in their sleeves and get on to the next pack. So, something else I'd like to see in this pack is maybe a Mick Schumacher card. I love him, and now with a Fer uh, sorry, a Mercedes seat open, maybe because he is the Mercedes reserve driver, maybe he's got a shot of finding his way back into the sport. As we've got Frederick Vesti, Sergio Perez. Maybe he'll have a better season this year. I want him to challenge Max. He's got to maybe tone it down a little with his aggression, but he should be good. We've got Gotifi himself, Nicholas Latifi, followed by Clean Air Blue Skies, Sergio Perez. He said, just two years into, an F1, into his F1 career, Perez set up the Checo Perez Foundation in his hometown of Guadalajara. Nice. We've got Valtteri Botas again, a nice alternate art. I don't know. I don't know what uh, cards there are in the packs. And another Grand Prix winner of Great Britain 2021, Lewis Hamilton. These are all pretty good cards. And I think because I don't know what's good and what's not, they're all good to me. It's cool to just go through all of them. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments too if you'd like to see me open some more of these in the future. Next, we've got a nice Sebastian Vettel. Look at that gorgeous smile. What a guy. And we've got George Russell, another guy with a fantastic smile. Mr. Saturday, as he used to be called, you know. Maybe didn't qualify so well this past season, but I hope he can get back to that. He's a nice guy. And we've got Lewis Hamilton, his teammate for the rest of this year, followed by a nice holographic of Botas. Another Lewis Hamilton. Good teammates, these two. I kind of miss Botas. Lewis Hamilton. Oh, we've got Kevin Magnussen behind Lewis. 
Magnuson is iconic. He's had some great races, some great quotes. Uh, he's a great guy. Followed by driver of the day, Bahrain 2021, Sergio Perez. You know, I wish Magnuson all the best. I, I really hope he does really well for Haas this year. I don't expect anything from Haas. Uh, you know, I think Gene Haas himself maybe needs to consider putting a little more effort into the team. Uh, and of course, Gunter Steiner will be missed. Franz Tost, a great principal. We've got George Russell looking. And we've got Flash of Brilliance, Charles Leclerc. I don't know if this one's numbered. It's not. But tells you on the back that Tifosi love their drivers. We've got Dennis Hauger, or Denis Hauger. I'm maybe not the best at pronouncing everyone's name. Followed by Grand Prix Driver of the Day, Monte Carlo 2021, Sebastian Vettel. Followed by Richard Vichur. Vichur. Probably not saying that right. Maybe it's even Ricard Vichur. I, I believe I've heard of him. I don't think he's done that much lately. I could be very wrong. But I just don't really remember his name. Now it looks like we've got two packs left. So we'll see if there's any magic in these two packs. If I can get it open. There we go. These, these cards are okay, though. You know... Parts of them are really cool. Some of them feel a little bit basic, just taking like photographs from the sport, like this, Lando Norris, but still a cool card to have, right? We've got Sergio Perez, and I, this is, you know, a basic driver profile. There's nothing wrong with this, and I'd rather they be making cards than not, but I'd also rather they put some more effort into some of them, like some of the Pokemon cards that we see. This is a nice one, though. Bounce, rock, race, roll. Zhou Guan Yu. That is a brilliant looking rookie card. We'll sleeve that one up for sure. And my boy, my f former favorite driver, Kimi Raikkonen himself. Driver of the day, Abu Dhabi 2021. I miss him. And, you know, it's cool to see him in NASCAR doing a couple races sometimes here and there. So I hope he does more. Speaking of a guy who's pretty cool, it's Toto Wolf. One of the greatest uh, team principals of all time, no question. He will go down in the history books. Then finally, another guy who might go down in the history books here, Oscar Piastri. He was amazing for McLaren at the end of last year. He had a slow start, so did McLaren. Their car sucked at the start of last year. But by the end of the season, Piastri was competing for podiums. And looking like he could potentially threaten Max. His tire saving maybe needed a little work because Lando got him in the long runs. But I'm hopeful that he can uh, make a big step this year. And, you know, that's an awesome card to have. Now, we are getting down to our final pack here. I do want to reorganize the pile of cards and pull out the Sebastian Vettel as one we can look at at the end. And then we'll get into our final pack. See if we can get some last pack magic, though. Honestly, that Piastri card, I like that. Because, you know, he's a up-and-coming driver for my favorite team. How could I not like it? But we're starting off with a nice Pierre Gasly. Followed by Lando Norris. It's a great guy. Followed by Marcus Armstrong. This... Marcus is still there. He's still racing in Formula 2, and he looks pretty good. He was teammates with Mick Schumacher. Marino Sato, again, we saw one super early on. I'm hopeful that Armstrong can do something. Oh, an F1 racer, Oracle Red Bull Racing. It's a nice card. Nice classic-looking card, again, just like the McLaren. And this one's based on Checo Perez. Then we've got a nice driver profile of Daniel Ricardo. Love to see it. Love his smile. The honey badger always beaming. And I hope we see that great smile on the podium this year. Then, Teo Porsche. 
A Formula 2 driver? I have heard of him before. I don't know if he's still in Formula 2, but obviously it's really hard to make that jump from Formula 2 up to Formula 1. So I wish him all the best and hope that I hear of him some more. So that looks like it for all of these cards. Honestly, my two favorites are the Oscar Piastri and the Sebastian Vettel. Sebastian Vettel, it's numbered, it's nice, he's a legend of the sport. Piastri, that's probably the most promising rookie we've seen since Lando Norris and Max Verstappen, to be honest, including maybe Charles Leclerc. Charles Leclerc has a lot of talent, and I hope he just impresses us this year. Well, let me know what you guys thought of the box of Formula One cards. It's a little different, and I want to keep doing some different things, so let me know in the comments below what you thought. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I'll see you all on the next adventure. I didn't forget to say anything, did I? Uh, yeah. Covered it all.